Hello, and welcome to the insides of a Commodore 8032 pet. Here are the bits and pieces that I had to remove to get the board out and to release the power supply. Note the fuse in the front, which is indeed very much ruined, broken, etc. This, the other cable right here, next to it goes up to the monitor. That's the one that comes from the power supply and goes to the main board. The thing next to it is one of the little plastic feet that holds the board in place. If we move around a little bit, we'll find the keyboard connector along with the little rubber, not a little rubber, a little plastic piece that holds the board in place off the board, or off the, the metal part. And here is the power supply, which is now, well, it's, well, it feels kind of stuck right now, but I have freed it up that I can deal with the fuse holder that was broken and the fuse that is shattered, etc., etc., etc. So that is the view inside the machine and the little bits and pieces. It's not all that complicated. Most of the screws are that you'll find on the pet are Phillips. You may need different size screwdrivers. Some are bigger, some are smaller. The one that is on, is this the thing? Nope, that's not the thing. Yes, the one, the screw that is on, on at least on this machine, that is on the back of the fuse holder is actually a slotted one, a rather small slotted screwdriver to get the fuse in and out. And of course, it is a slow blow fuse. There is specifications for what you should replace it with on the back. So, I'm getting there. If I was wanting to test out the power supply more right now, I would proceed with that. But what I really want to do is put this machine back down after I put things into a plastic bag, which I have handy here, a little sandwich bag. It's, it may or may not be a Ziploc bag, but it definitely has a zip thing that I can put everything in so I don't lose anything. That is important. What's funny, one thing I see under the power supply, there's this wire. I don't know what it is, if it's supposed to be there, if it's not supposed to be there. And I thought it might be somehow connected, but it does not seem to be. Hmm. Not connected to the case. I don't know what that is. Oh, and for the, what I was talking about before, about the fuse. Not the fuse, but the, uh, the ground connection. Let's go to the back. I've not done anything to remove these. They are, uh, the black thing in front, that's one of the things that holds the board in. And down below, that's the, um, I guess, ground connections to the case. One of them goes up to the monitor, the other one does not. And I did not have to deal with them as of yet, but if I was really going to take the power supply right out of the machine, I would... So, there are the bits, no pun intended, and pieces of what I had to take out, and here is the empty machine. Next, I will put this back on the floor, I will get the 4032, and we'll see what happens with the circuit board. I am forever hopeful, but also realistic. Do I really think it's going to work? No. Do I hope it's going to work? Yes. We'll see. Thanks for coming. And welcome to the inside of a Commodore 8032. Bye for now.